Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily Hessler. The card for today I actually talked a little bit about, about in my last haul video from May. And if you haven't listened to that one, be sure to check it out because there I'm presenting a couple of stamp set, a couple of stamp sets that you might like. And this one that we're going to be using today is called Mama. Uh, it's called Pixie's Favorites, and it's from Mama Elephant. As you can see, I'm taking one of the stamps, the one with the bunny that holding the heart, and this is a new stamp set for me. So you can see here that I'm always going to be pressing the stamps down on a piece of scrap paper before I'm pressing it down on top of our smooth Nina cardstock, and. Uh, why I'm doing that is because sometimes I think when you're using a new stamp set, the impression doesn't get as crisp as you want it to be. So that could be a good tip for you if you think your stamps isn't as give you as good as an impression as you want it to give. Uh, you saw me pressing that little bunny down on top of some post-it tape, and that is because I actually here you can see I cut it out and we're gonna use this as a mask because we're gonna create a flat card today with just this um, um, with this mask and here you can see I'm stamping my stamp down again on top of that uh, uh, scrap paper and here I'm just uh, placing that bunny where I want it to be and pressing it uh, slightly overlapping that first bunny that we created now I'm going to take the last bunny that we are going to use uh, for this card and that's the one with the, uh, the bunny that holds the butterfly and I'm pressing that down on, on the right side of this card. We're going to keep working on our uh, um, image here and here you can see me taking that smaller piece of uh, grass and just um, pressing that down a couple of times beneath the bunnies so it creates a little um, ground for it to stand on so it doesn't look like they are flying away and here you can see me ink up some of the uh, that little leaf in this stamp set and I'm gonna press this down a couple of times and here I'm gonna use a really fun technique and if you haven't seen this one before you can always check this one out because I'm doing this in another uh, movie too. I am, I am going to be listing that down below if you want to see it. But the principle is that I'm pressing it down on top of another stamp, and then pressing it down on the uh, cardstock so it creates a mirror image. And you will see me do that uh, here in a minute. Now I'm just uh, taking that uh, other stamp in this stamp set that creates the wind that blows. And here you can just see me take some of the post-it, uh, the leftovers of the post-it tape to create a fast uh, mask. And now I'm gonna do the reverse stamping again. And here I'm pressing it down on top of another stamp and then I'm pressing it down again. And this technique is really fun and you get a lot more out of your stamps now when you can reverse them. So here we have it. Now I'm gonna peel off that mask and I am going to save this mask for later because uh, and I always do this with my stamp set. I'm saving, if I had created a mask, I'm saving it. So I can use it again. And here you can see that I messed up a little bit uh, in the upper uh, right corner. So I'm gonna use um, uh, a stitched frame from Long Fawn to just uh, cut this image out when I'm done with all the stamping. And here I'm taking that large uh, thank you stamp and uh, inking that up and pressing it down below um, uh, below these uh, bunnies. I'm sorry, overneath these bunnies. I cannot speak right now. <laughs> Hopefully you can see what I'm doing and not listen to me. <laughs> when I'm done with that and I am pleased with the inking of the stamp, you're gonna see me press down uh, the lower part of this sentiment and that is gonna say thank you for everything. So this card is um, very versatile. You can use it for many occasions. And I just love these bunnies, they are so pretty. And um, the other ones in this stamp set are also adorable. And hopefully I will create many cards out of this. As you know, my principle is to always get stamp sets that you can use a lot and hopefully create at least four card out, cards out of. So I hope I can do that. So here I'm just fibbling around with the placement of that lower part. I am not 
I'm pleased with it, but it could have been better. So if I would do this again, I might uh, change the posi p position of those leaves so I could place my sentiment before I'm doing those small ones. So that's a tip for you if you want to do this card. Now it's time for the fun part, to color this in. And since I'm using so many uh, of those uh, Spectrum Noir markers, I will be listing them down below uh, so you can see which ones I used. The spectrum of these uh, colors are um, orange and pink and yellow and red and uh, some of that really dark lilac. And I think these col uh, colors coordinate uh, very well with this image. And as you can see in the upper left uh, corner of my scratch scrap paper, you can see that I um, took some of the markers and just uh, dabbed them on there so you can see them. And I'm doing that to have a little guide to how I thought I was going to be using these colors. So that's also a tip for you if you are doing some ink blend, um, blending with markers. Uh, my camera, somewhere here, my camera stopped working <laughs> and I don't know really what happened but uh, first I just put down a layer of color and then I'm going over all those um, uh, bunnies again to create a little bit more depth in this uh, depth in this card uh, and here you can see me take a gray marker and going around all of these images and I'm doing that first with a light marker and then I'm doing that with a little bit darker marker and that creates an even more feeling for the bunnies that it seems like they are really alive and not just sitting on top of the paper if you understand me <laughs> Uh, and I hope you will see that in the finished uh, result. But my camera stopped working when I actually put down the shadows uh, on the bunnies, not when I did this grey parts. So uh, I think you will see the difference uh, between these ones, because now they are really flat and when I'm going over it with the other markers again to create a little bit more dimension, it will look very much better. And here I have done that actually, you can see me doing it some of the uh, that pink on the dress again, and I'm doing since I have I don't have every marker. I'm doing something called tip to tip blending, where I'm just taking uh, one marker and touching the other one to create a, a mid color of those two. When I'm done with that, I'm taking a, a white marker, a gel pen from Granite, and if you haven't this one, you can use any white gel pen, and that also creates a little bit more. A definition and light to these images. As you can see I took it over to my leaf and then I just pressed uh, down my finger so it doesn't uh, get that hard impression and I think that worked out fine. Now I'm taking this over to my big shot and here you can see that I cut this out with that stitch frame. Here is a side folded note card. I also die cutted a piece of some fun foam. You can also see that I have some black strips lying there ready to be used and this one I'm just gonna um, eyeball <laughs> and lay down uh, behind this panel so it just uh, shows through a little, little bit and that just creates the perfect shadow for this card so it gets a little bit more definition. And as you can see I'm not doing this with any rhyme and reason, I'm just pressing this down and I think that works out fine this time but if I would do this again I might actually have a full sized um, black uh, panel to do this with because it was it doesn't look that hard when I'm doing this but it actually was very hard to eyeball this I was very nervous to press it down wrong and that I would have to do this all over again or that it would be uh, turning some way, but I think that worked out fine. As you can see, I'm gonna take off a little bit at the top of these ones because I think it got a little bit too high. When I'm pleased with that, I am going to be uh, taking some more adhesive to the back side of this and then just press it firmly down on top of our card base. Now the fun part remains and now it's time to give this card a little bit more sparkle and shine. And to start off I'm taking some of my glossy accent and just putting that down on top of that heart. I'm coating the entire thing with that. It is awesome and it gives this a really uh, nice shine. 
And when I'm done with that, I am going to be taking some Winko Stella to that little butterfly and that just finished this off. I think this is adorable. If you want to do something like that, this don't be afraid, it was very easy to create this mask and to do this ink and blending with the colors. If you want to see more of my work, you can always subscribe to my channel here at YouTube or visit me at Instagram. My name is Scrapbooking Underline Svea. Until next time, hope you have a fabulous day and go out in the sun and enjoy it because it's awesome in springtime. Okay, bye!